You have a God-given right to live, be free, and to pursue happiness. What makes me happy is to blow a duck's head smooth off. <laughs> So we kill them like God says and we rock on. Well, that's a little bit of an introduction. Here's a, uh, by the way, both those things, right? One of these days I'm going to buy a suit. No, I'm not. I'm not going to fool with that either. So they call, I'm not sure why, but maybe you'll understand after I leave here. Look at here. God said whack them and stack them. Here's a teal. You don't do this loud. That's a green winged teal. Let's see here. Now we just finished up with blue wings and green wings. That'd be a blue wing or a green winged teal. Five little short notes. Ground swat of work every time. He'll be a widgeon. Three licks. I'm hitting the second one. Nothing to it. By the way, that old widgeon hen. She's got a little flutter to her call. Still like, can can can. It's. You take your finger and you stick me in that thing. If you didn't have that little piece of meat, you'd get this. That's, that's a backhoe backing up. <laughs> but since he gave you the little piece of meat, you could flood it out. So there's three whistlers right there, teal, widgeon, and gadwall. I mean, a teal, widgeon, and pintail. Here's your old gadwall. One lick at a time. About every four seconds, have somebody call on on the hen call. Of course, the old Milo Drake, that's another tough one. Uh, bass note. I'm doing that on a whistle. That whistle I've been blowing, I got a stem on it. Look. But I'm going. Uh, it's so close to a mile of Drake, it's scary. Times are hard, and we're down to bushwhacking woodies. That's when he's flying across the top of the timber. If he's sitting out there, he'll go. So you're getting a thicket. I said times are hard. You get that gun barrel stuck through that brush, and you hear him out there. You hear him. So you shake the water a little bit. And you give him that sit and call. See, if you're going, if you're doing like that, see, you be flying. Well, if you're flying, if he's flying, everybody's flying, nobody knows where to come back to. So if he be flying, you need to go, that's him sitting, see. He'll cut out in there, get you some wood duck decoys. Gotta have them. If you're gonna call Woody, you say, I need about half a dozen wood duck decoys. Yeah. Put them out in your spread, get in the woods, and they'll eat this thing up, I mean. So you get your gun barrel through the brush, you hear them, and look, you start calling at them, you shake the water. You got ripples coming out of a thicket. They see the ripples, they hear it. And look, they just start coming single file, right down. They swim to you, they just swim right up there at about 30 yards. They'll turn, he's looking over in there. Now y'all do what you want to with them here, but you know what I'm fixing to do right there. <laughs> I'm fixing the ground slot another bunch. <laughs> if you want to be a world champion, which I'm far from, <laughs> Unfortunately, I've never heard a duck do that. 
But if you want to go to Stuttgart, you're going to have to do something along that line. You hold that about 40 notes, you'll probably win it. They told me 35 years ago, they said, uh, if you don't win the World Championship Duck Call Contest, you're never going to be able to sell duck calls in America. I said, well, what do I have to do? And that's what that cat did. And I said, let me ask you something. Could a duck win it? <laughs> he said, man, a duck couldn't even place in the time. So I'm thinking, let's see. When a duck can't win a duck call contest, I, said, I don't know. So I decided to forego that. But it's good for the sport. I'm not knocking them. That's a few duck calls. Here's an old mule. <laughs> That's actually about all you need. <laughs> in the woods or out in the open, anything else. Here's a little finisher we call a duck picker, what all women ought to be doing, picking the man's ducks. Here's the deal, Oklahoma. <laughs> Somebody said, how come my woman won't pick my ducks? Well, I, I look around, y'all are waiting till they get to be 20 years old for your man. <laughs> Look, you marry them at 15 or 16, they'll pick your ducks. You wait till they get to be 20, your pocket gets picked. <laughs> you never break. Miss Kay back there, I married at 16, you know, and her mama said, I don't know whether you want to get hooked up with that bunch or not, you know. And Kay said, well, mama, they're real poor, but I don't think they know it. So now, you know, Whatever I've done in my life, old Miss Kay just rat holding that long green, you know. Everybody happy now, you know. <laughs> but she's picked a many a duck and cooked a many a meal. Good woman, good godly woman. <laughs> Y'all gotta remember something. I didn't repent and turn into a messenger for God until I was about 28. You say, what happened the time between high school and 28? All bad. All bad. You got to remember, I'm one of them 60s cats. You say, you done been commode, hugging, drunk, smoking dope, whoremonger, and heathen. Yeah. <coughs> That's that little finisher I was telling you about. That one there takes you a little time on it, but if you get that down, you got it. Now.